The next technique which we are taking up is the crystallization and it is a very important technique, right? So crystallization is actually a process of separating the salt crystals from the solution. So I am taking an example of copper sulphate, the commonly, uh, this thing, the commonly observed method that is the copper sulphate solution that is how we get to have copper sulphate crystals separated from the solvent, right? So for this I am making a, uh, this thing, the solution of, I am just dissolving the copper sulphate in the water. So for this I need a, see this is a petri dish containing a copper sulphate blue colored crystals you can easily see right. It is a beaker, it is a water, it is again a beaker and a tripod stand a full arrangement for heating a stirrer right. So first of all I wish to make a, a solution of copper sulphate. For this I am taking a beaker and adding water to it I'm, and I am adding a copper sulphate to it crystals to it right. I am stirring it, I am stirring it again to make it dissolve. As you can see it is getting dissolved, this copper sulphate is getting dissolved in the water. We, I have told you in the previous topic that we have certain saturated solution, unsaturated solution. I think you remember, for your easiness I will repeat it, saturation solution is that actually which can not dissolve as much as solute we add to it and unsaturated solution is that, that at given temperature they can dissolve as much as solute we add to it. Right. So see you can see that copper sulphate is getting dissolved because water is no longer colorless now it is acquired a blue color. Right, so we will be just doing it uh, to make it dissolve. So now what we are going to do is now we have made the saturated uh, this thing a solution of this a saturated solution because it has no ability to dissolve solute more right because the solute is getting precipitated. So that means this uh, we have just made a saturated solution of copper sulphate. Now what I am going to do is for crystallization I have to heat the saturated solution till the saturation point is achieved. So I am just pouring this into a china dish. And I've just I'm just heating it. So we have to light the burner for it. So we are just heating it. We'll continue heating till the saturation point is achieved. So we are just heating it, heating it, just let the flame reach the wire gauge. 